Hi, welcome to our channel. My name is Isalia de los Santos and today I want to show you how to make homemade uh, collagen bars. To start, I want to show you everything that we're going to be using today. We have coconut butter right here. You see? We have natso butter. We have collagen. This is uh, vegan. We have chia seeds. Ham hearts and a little bit of coconut oil, it's kind of heavy. And one of my favorite chocolates from Trader Joe's. And I think that's it. We can just get started. It's really simple to make, and I hope you guys enjoy it as much as my husband and I. We will start with the dry ingredients. I like to start with the chia. Right here, you can see the chia seeds. In the chia seeds, I put a uh, one third of cup. We also have the hemp seed hearts I like to start with, and I put two thirds of a cup. We're also gonna put in the description the measurements in case I forget to mention one of them. Or, yeah, if I forget to mention one. Then we have the collagen. We only gonna add one scoop. Make sure it's a full scoop. We wanna make sure we get all the collagen. So far so good. It smells so good already. I think it's the vanilla powder. Right here, we're gonna add now our wet ingredients, which is the not so butter, and is one cup. Right here. I'm gonna mix this real quick. And see all the dry ingredients. Mix, mix, mix. I don't know if you can see it. Make sure that you get, um, if you're gonna get collagen, that you get vanilla flavor or chocolate. But um, I prefer vanilla, so it's not overpowering. Okay, now we're gonna add this. Make sure we get everything. Mmm, it smells so good. Smells so good. Now let's mix all this. While we mix this, we're gonna add our butter. But like you see, it's now melted all the way, so I'm gonna have softener a little bit, and I'm gonna do that in the microwave. You can also do it in the stove, but I wanna do this a little faster. I really enjoy this, and I wanna eat it as soon as possible. So the butter is one fourth of a cup. I just do 30 seconds in the microwave, Mix, mix, mix. Mm, it smells so good. If you guys make this, you guys will know what I'm talking about when I say this smells so good. I can smell the vanilla and the nuts of butter. Now you can see right here, it's not completely melted, it's just soft, and that's what we want. Now we're gonna add it here. A little bit stuck, so I'm gonna give you a spoon real quick. Because again, we, we're trying to get everything in this bowl. And then again, mix, mix. It's simple ingredients, it's really quick to make. It makes a great dessert. Uh, for my husband, a midnight snack, so you don't feel so guilty. At least it's healthy for you. And now that everything is mixed, you can. It's gonna look like this. 
It's a little sticky because of the oils, but that's what we want. We want it to look like this. Okay, have everything. I prepare my my tray where I'm gonna put this. It's actually a bread bread. It's actually a bread. Um, what is this called, Anthony? It's called a bread. No, seriously. <laughs> what is it called? I don't know a bread pan. I have no idea. Let's call it a bread pan. <laughs> and I usually use this parchment paper. I'm letting you know about this because I didn't know about this for the longest time and it's been really useful for me and baking. So I already have it all ready. You can see. And I'm going to put everything in here. a lot but it doesn't last I think it lasts about I want to say a week maybe two top but it's just really really good um, it's really really good Let's even it out looks like this I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it? Okay. Now I'm going to cover it. And I'm going to put it in the freezer for a little bit while we make the top. Actually, we're going to make the top first and I'm going to put it on top. So this way it's, made, it's easier and faster. And this is what we're going to use for the topping. I already measured it and I put one fourth of the dark chocolate. And I also put a half a tablespoon of coconut oil and I use this one. And I already have it here. And now I'm going to melt it. I do 30 seconds, I mixed it, and if it's not melted all the way, I'll put it again for a few more seconds. And Anthony likes the puffy seeds on top. They look really nice, but they're also good for you, so we're gonna put some of those. So like you can see right here, it's not melted all the way, so I'm going to mix it. It's really important that you don't forget to add the oil because it can burn your chocolate when you're melting it. And we don't want that. Okay, mix, mix, mix. I'll put this here for a second. I'm really, really excited. The pumpkin seeds we're only going to use to sprinkle on top. We'll put it in the freezer and let it get hard. We'll cut it and we'll show you the end result as well. I'm really excited. Okay, mix, mix, mix. Also, um, be careful when you take this out of the microwave because it could be hot. I don't have a lot of feeling on my hands, so I tend to um, grab things that are hot without 
getting burned. So I wouldn't recommend you guys doing that. Just make sure you're careful when you take anything from the microwave that might be hot. Now it's all melted. If you see, there's a little, um, this chocolate comes with coconut nibs. And that's what you see here. I don't know if you can see it. But it's completely melted. Now we're going to add it to the top. It makes it look beautiful, but it also tastes really good. Yeah, the whole thing. I don't like to waste anything, so let's try to get everything. Sorry for making a lot of noise with this. Now I put all the chocolate in there. Let's put this in the sink. With a spoon, we want to make sure that we even the chocolate so everything is covered. We shake it a little bit, just so the chocolate is even. Like I said, I don't like to waste anything, so I tend to eat the leftovers, so I'm gonna eat this. Mmm, I love chocolate. Okay. Now we are gonna add the pumpkin seeds. Remember, this is only just for the top, so we want to go crazy on this, just a little bit. I might have gone crazy on it, but it's just so good. That's it. And now I'm going to cover it. You can freeze it first too and do the chocolate later, but I prefer to do it now so I can put it in the freezer and I don't have to wait for it to get cold. So I'm going to put it in the freezer and I'll be back. I hope you guys like this recipe. I'm really excited to show you how I cut it, how I take it out but I'll be back in a few minutes. Come on. Ta -da! I don't know if you can see it. But, oh my goodness, it smells so good. So with this paper, like I was telling you about, yeah, just like that, it comes out. And this is pretty easy to clean now. So now the paper off. I like to start with the middle, but you guys can cut this however you want. If you want to have smaller pieces or bigger pieces, welcome to do so. You see, I guess it didn't work for the long but it's okay. And there you have it. So you can see. The longer you keep it out, it can melt too as well. But I hope you like the recipe. Bye. I hope you enjoyed this recipe that Azalea made. Um, I know I like it. Um, it's a keto, vegan, collagen okay. bar. Um, and we usually like to enjoy it after a run. Um, it's a nice little treat. Um, and I do have the macros that I pulled up here. Um, it has, uh, she did uh, cut, it, cut it into eight pieces. But actually, we usually have it cut into 16 pieces, but um, with the version that's put into eight, it has 13 grams of protein, uh, 34 grams of fat, and 4 grams of net carbs. Um, so it's nice and keto-friendly, get some protein in, um, and then the protein peptides for the collagen. I um, really hope you enjoyed it. Um, we're going to be sharing more videos like this. AC's going to be sharing all of her favorite recipes, 
and we're going to keep sharing our Tegotarian journey. Um, we very much appreciate you subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Come on, come here. Come on. Do you want to make a video? Do you want to make a video? No, I want to make a video. Bye. 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 Bye.